Gen Fam! Hey! So, recently on Twitter, the awesome, the incredible Generation Pixel, member of the hashtag support Scottish YouTubers alum, a 1k passing YouTuber, I might have had a little something to do with that, who knows? <laughs> he asked, What do you prefer? Do you prefer all your light, you wee state of plays and. and uh, the Xbox One and Nintendo Direct and all the rest of it and how like Ubisoft come along and they go like oh here's a Ubisoft forward look at these games and like about 15 Assassin's Creed come tumbling at you <laughs> <laughs> or did you prefer it back in the day when we had like E3 and like you take the time off work and like for three days solid just like a tsunami of gaming news comes washing over you with systems and games and services and developer talks and interviews and you know interviews with like Hideo Hijima and god knows what else and footage of booth babes and seeing the booths and the technology and just reporting live on the scene in Los Angeles and just three days of whoa <laughs> and by the end of it you're like <laughs> especially as a content creator because you're like you're just you're watching stuff and firing at videos but trying not to lose tight lose sight of what's going on while you're making the video and you're just like trying to get the content out and you're trying to be relevant and part of the conversation and oh my god and everybody's watching it and loving it and soaking it up and it's just like, gimme news, gimme news, gimme news, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Or, is it better now, where you've, you know, you've got your, all your little events throughout the year, I mean, you've got about three or four PlayStation events, about two or three Microsoft events, one or two possibly three, sometimes depending on how much stuff there is from Nintendo, of them, you get some stuff like coming out and from the big shows and stuff and you get Ubisoft coming out and you you know you got all these little shows throughout the year and it's much more bite-sized and handleable but the only problem with those is you're lucky if you get like a two three day run-up so you know it's like there's a state of play coming ah I haven't got the time off work and then you end up doing a video you end up watching it while you're on coming home on the way home from work on the bus and it's just you don't get down sort of like kick back on your couch and just let yourself be abs absorb it, be wrapped in it, and just like snuggle into gaming. No, it's literally like I've got to quickly watch this thing because otherwise everybody will know something I don't know, and the whole FOMO thing is real. And you're like got your phone, and then the bus Wi-Fi runs out, and then you're using your data. And you're like, oh, is it? But then it's immediate, it's there, and it's small, and it's bite sized and it's, you know. There's a convenience factor to it. Yeah, okay, you don't have like a Sony executive going out going, we got these games coming to the PlayStation, blah, 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 blah. And then you got that guy comes out and goes, uh, check out our new system. And then this guy comes out and goes, uh, check out the new way we're doing PlayStation Plus. Ah! Now you've got a, like a disembodied voice occasionally punctuated with like Herman Hulse going, Hey, stuff, 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 and stuff, and stuff. <laughs> well, admittedly, the last time, the last couple of times, they've had that new woman who isn't Sydney, or I forget her name. And I do like the way she comes across, even though we don't see her. Or did we see her? I can't remember. Anyway, we've got all these differing ways of doing it. We've got the big way where it's like E3 esque. And Summer Games uh, Com and no, no Games Com and Summer Game Event with Jeff from Jeff Keeley with obviously the Game Awards as well. Where it's just like massive info dump, which is good. But then we've also got like loads of wee things here and there, here and there, here and there. But they got a very small run up. Thus, for V three and all the other ones, it's like you know, like months in advance sometimes. That is coming and you can plan for it and you can get the time off work and so on and so forth. And then you know that your favourite content creators, like me, <laughs> are sitting there going, right, okay, this is how I'm going to plan the content out, this is what I'm going to watch, this is what I'm going to try and do. And I'm going to, you know, they, basically we make battle plans and we go forth and we try to make as much content for you guys as we possibly can. Whilst 
it's often the case with these smaller deals that there's a lot more music in them that's copyright claimy that we can't really get to use. So we end up using lots of still images or we get content claims in our content. And it's just a mess. But really, this video is all about you guys. So as I've said so many times in the past, typey, typey, typey down below, let them bloke know. I'm curious. As uh, the poll put out by Generation Pixel asked, what do you prefer? Do you like the loads of wee little shows? Or do you prefer the big massive info dump of huge amounts of information? <laughs> I'm just curious guys, what do you prefer? We or big? Small or massive? <laughs> uh, tell you what I would prefer though. I would prefer that to hashtag support Scottish YouTubers and of course, as always, I ne bother.